the first on zero frame sorry hit i location and then actually what we're gonna do first we're gonna we're gonna undo that i'm gonna hit shift d and then uh, uh do the same thing we did earlier so get rid of that negative sign and now it's over there as well and i'm gonna do the same thing with the circle as well so shift d move, move it over uh, but we have to scale this one in a little bit because it's too thick obviously now this is too much of an angle and a slope so i'm gonna hit tab to go into edit mode and it GZ to move that up approximately the same amount of slope that this one is, which I think that looks pretty good. Um, cool. So now, actually, that little piece is showing. So I'm going to move that down a little bit. All right, cool. So with all those these weird triangles selected, I'm going to hit uh, I, location, insert location. And then we're going to go to maybe frame 10, move it approximately off of all of the pieces um and then hit i location i'm actually going to move this circle one down to about right there i location and then with all of them selected we are going to go ahead and go on maybe frame 50 and then move it all the way off of all of the pieces i location move that one down i location and i location now when we play this you can see we have something like this which looks really cool because all of the like the pieces like come out of nowhere which looks really awesome but this is too fast and i want to make sure that they all do it at different times so we're gonna go back to frame zero and then kind of open this up a little bit and change this to the dope sheet editor now you can see this is all of the keyframes i'm just gonna click here and then just drag down to, to downsize all that so i minimize all that sorry now you can see this is all the keyframes we have i'm gonna hit s while my cursor is on zero to scale this up because it moves too fast so i'm gonna do maybe on frame 20 and 100 so now we have this looks much better i'm gonna turn my overlays off so you can't see that those lines um there we go this little button right here is the overlay button um that looks good but i want them to all do it at different times because i don't want them to do it at the same time that's weird so i'm gonna go ahead and grab maybe plane four by clicking one of these vertices uh, ver vertices whoa what did i just say that was weird um, I'm going to B to grab all of these keyframes. Sorry, B to grab these keyframes. There we go. Not the ones at the top. That'll grab everything. And then hit G to move this uh, maybe to frame 10. And then maybe uh, this right here. What is this? Is this? Yeah, that's the circle. All right. I want the circle to come in last. So I'm going to move the start frame of that to like 40 or something. So now we have something like this. Very, very, very cool. So I like that quite a bit. Um, I really enjoy this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, close that uh, dope sheet by just dragging from the corner down. And now I can go ahead and turn bloom on. So I'm going to go to render properties and turn bloom on. So now we have a really cool like bloom, but that's too strong. So I'm going to turn the radius down a little bit and the intensity up. Um, maybe I'll turn the, the actually maybe I'll turn the intensity down. The threshold also can go up a little bit. Now, I don't like this color pink anymore. So I'm going to kind of maybe make this a different color. We'll do like Maybe like, I don't know, something like that. Maybe we'll change the emission to a higher value, like let's say 20. And then the color can be like easily a different color. Like that looks cool, right? Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll stick with the five. And then I'll just turn the, the, the radius, the radius up a little bit. All right, cool. So that's blending very nicely. Now you can see we have something that looks like this. Okay, so I've decided to make everything white instead of black because I think it looks much cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and actually grab our all of these little things that we use to cover everything up. And I'm going to change that to the white color, which is this white color right here that I've made. Uh, there we go. Cool. Now I'm just going to make sure that's solid white, which it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, color management and just change this from filmic to standard because that's not white. It's like gray. Um, so now we have this, but I want to change the color from blue, obviously, because the blue does not stand out as much. So I'm going to change this back to the color that we had before, which is like the pinkish color, which looks really nice. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and we don't even need bloom really anymore because like it's already kind of bloomy. Um, but we're going to go ahead and maybe put it, maybe put a little bit on there just to soften up that pink a little bit, which looks nice. Uh, Alright, so that is uh, pretty much it for the animated uh, end card, end screen. It's very simple. I just really like this look. Um, so that is what we're going to do. You can, of course, move these around as well, but keep in mind, you're going to want to make sure that you select both of these, um, both of these, uh, pieces or else it's not going to look right. Um, yeah. So that's, uh, going to be pretty much it. Like I said, um, that's, uh, this is one of my favorite things that I really like motion graphics. Of course, you guys love it. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.